I just got done blow drying my hair. They're in these bags. Is this too much? But sometimes I just wonder, like, I could be doing so much more. I just got done blow drying my hair. I know, it looks crazy. Um. Um, how you been? You been all right? That's good. I got so much to update you on. It, it's kind of, I want to say it's crazy, but it's kind of interesting. Um, it is Wednesday. What is it today? November the 8th? I think it's the 8th or it's either the 9th. And um, it's the wee hours. It's about 5-ish here in the morning. I'm trying to get Osh fed because I got to run to my job this morning. But I got a lot to update you on. But I've been doing good. I've been behind the scenes doing some things. And um, let's just let's just talk about it, shall we? I enrolled in naturopathy school. I know, right? Is that not exciting? Let me tell you, the things that I am learning, mind blowing. The way. amazing miraculous things that the universe is able to do when we just go back to nature when we just keep it simple um, I'm gonna share all that with you and today the reason why my head is looking crazy let's just be honest my head always looking crazy <laughs> today I am getting starter locked so I blow dried it this morning so it can be ready you know for her to do whatever she needs to do to it I'm excited about that, but I am not excited about going through the process of waiting for it to lock. And then, you know, I call it the ugly process where my hair is not really long enough to look like anything, but I'm just going to weather the storm, you know. Then, secondly, I ordered a food subscription box from a raw vegan restaurant. Well, they used to have a restaurant. Now, I think they're just strictly um, a food box subscription place. And it's called Rawvolution. And I made a TikTok about it yesterday. I'm going to show it to you right here. Got delivered my Rawvolution raw meals. I actually thought I was going to get a bigger box than this, but I guess since the food is all prepared, the box is a little bit smaller, but let's dig in and see. And I'm sorry if you've been waiting on this review, because um, I was supposed to be doing it last Tuesday, right? But I had my days crossed. So when you order from them, the cutoff date is Saturday before midnight, so 11.59. And so I have placed my order on Sunday, so that pushed me to the next week. But it's still the same, uh, what was I trying to say? It's still the same recipes that I showed you in my last video. But let's get into it. And this came right on time because I'm just getting off of a juice fast. And yesterday all I had was juice, water, and herbs. So I'm ready to eat something. So they give you a cute little card. I will read that later. And then it tells you everything that is packed in your box. Okay, this is interesting. So it comes like in sealed baggies. So I'm assuming this is the juice. This has to be the fruit and flower juice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it just throw it's throwing me off because they're all sealed in bags, which is not not a bad thing. I just thought they were gonna be in containers. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure what this is, 
but it looks like um, a collared leaf. Is this the falafel? I don't know. I gotta go back to their website to check out the pictures, I guess. Um, I'm pretty sure that this will be the pasta alfredo with the zucchini noodles, or I like to call them zoodles. And it has two little, um, maybe like nut balls or something. Or that looks like seeds, so some type of like protein ball. And then we have, oh, I'm so dumb, they're numbered. Number six is creamy sunflower seed salad. The, the food in the bags is what's throwing me off. If you're looking at my face like, mm, I don't think she liked this. Just them being in the bags is really throwing me off. Okay, so this is number eight. And number eight is the falafel wrap. Okay. And then number four is Thai coleslaw. I can see that, okay. And then we have the celery juice, I'm pretty sure, number one. Yep, celery juice. And we have number 10 is the Big Mat with cheese. So I guess like a raw vegan burger maybe. And number nine is the Pesto Pizza. Number three, we have some type of chia. Yeah, chia fruit, chia and fruit stew. Looks like this. Number 12 is the cinnamon raisin ball. See, I thought everything was gonna come in containers like this, cause that's kind of what they show on their website. But, and then number 11 is the berry cream parfait. And last but not least, number five is mushroom ragout. I don't know what that is, but some type of mushroom dish. And so let's see, which one do we want to try? I got to admit to you that having them in the bags is not pleasing to the eye for me. I don't like that at all. Um, I like my food to look appetizing. give you enough of the sauce I like that show you what that looks like yeah yeah okay let's see protein ball because I'm assuming it has like seeds and nuts in it mm -hmm. you know what it kind of tastes like to me a blend between meatloaf and Salisbury steak it's really good really good oh I need to know how they made this because I will make this again okay before I leave you let's try one more thing because I'm about to go sit down in a nice quiet spot and tear this up this is really good this was the pasta alfredo but I want to try like the little dessert thing this is the cinnamon raisin balls now you can't get this wrong I don't think you can so I'm expecting this to be really good stuck in there and they are a nice size you see that I probably can only eat half of this I'm gonna take a little bite because I want to finish eating this though mm. that's really good you know what it tastes like it tastes like not even lying a cinnamon roll but it's not cooked that is Okay, two out of 12, I got 12 meals, right? Well, two drinks and 10 meals, two out of 12.
But anyway, so when I got it, I was super excited, um, opened up the box and was a little underwhelmed because everything, let me just show you, was in, um, what do you call those? Uh, vacuum seal bags, right? And so I was just like, uh, because the thing about me, and I'm pretty sure you're this way too. You see they're in these bags. Um, I like my food to look appetizing. I mean, who does not? You know, let me put this back up. And with raw vegan meals, I'm already super picky because I'm coming from an American standard diet. And so I honestly don't like a lot of vegetables. Like I don't like onions. I don't like tomatoes unless tomatoes are like sun dried or, you know, dehydrated. I'll eat them that way or if they're in salsa, but just to eat a slice of tomato. I think I've said this before not gonna do it and not gonna do it with onions like onions have to be minced so teeny tiny for me to eat it but what's so crazy is i'll cook with it to get the flavor and stuff and i'll put it like in like dishes like cooked meals like chili and stuff where the onion is able to be cooked down and you can barely feel the texture but i think it's a texture thing with me i don't i don't like certain vegetables so I was getting this food box to give me more ideas on what to make for raw vegan meals. Um, and one of the cons is the bags that they put it in. And also that you don't get to like, you know, on other food subscription boxes, you get to pick from a certain amount of meals or whatever and kind of customize it to the way you like it. And if you don't like a certain food group, then you can like, you know, omit that meal and get something different. With this one, they just give you a menu of what they're preparing for the week, which I get it. I mean, it's not really a big deal, but that's one of the cons. Well, two cons, but I tried two of the meals, no, three of the meals. Okay. This is Omega 3, just in case she was wondering, you don't care. Um, I tried their pasta Alfredo, which was zoodles and an Alfredo sauce. And then they had like these little meatballs, but they were made out of like seeds and nuts, um, as you just seen in the TikTok video. And that was really good. Like everything was seasoned well. It tastes really good in the sauce that they use. I'm going to have to make it because my Alfredo sauce don't never taste like that. My Alfredo sauce be good, but it wasn't that good. Um, and then I had the cinnamon raisin balls. They, no lie, taste exactly like cinnamon rolls. Are you remember those things? I think they still sell them. Uh, I don't know if Hostess sells them or what, but the little pin rolls that was in that, that rectangle box or whatever. Um, and they came in a like little plastic packages or whatever they taste just like that the little cinnamon raisin balls so good and then for dinner i had the falafel wrap which was a collar some type of like nut cheese i think it wasn't hummus but it puts you in the mind of that um and then falafel The price point on it was 140, oh, I cannot even talk, $146 for a week. And then you have to do next day shipping because it's raw foods. And that pushed me up to 165. So when I calculated it, it kind of was like the same that I already spend. And sometimes I spend way more than that, you know, when I'm preparing meals or whatever. So it's justifiable for me. Um, oh, one other thing that I, I think is kind of like a con, but you do get 10 meals. So you get, if you want it, lunch and dinner, but they're only a serving for one. 
and I like to have a serving for two. So that was kind of like, eh, but I'm like, well, you get two meals. So it's kind of, it balances out or whatever. But anyways, when I decide to have lunch today, I'll share what I'm eating. Um, I'm going to do one of their juices. I got their celery juice in this order in a fruit and flower juice not sure what the fruit is but i can look on the website and let you know but anyways good morning just wanted to show my little face and see yours even though i can't see it but i'll see you in the comments right right okay for some reason my tripod is like leaning this way so it's making my camera shoot that way so i look to me, I look like I'm crooked. Maybe I can fix that when I go to edit, but it's lunchtime here. Do I got a clean plate? I thought I cleaned these, did I not? Maybe you just didn't get the crap off of that. I don't know. it just in case I don't trust it okay so we're gonna try another one of these raw vegan meals the one that I picked is the big mat m-a-t-t -T, and cheese I'm assuming it's supposed to be like a play on the big mac like a burger situation I don't know go outside it is so nice so I'm gonna go outside and eat yeah like what's going on here in the message center just boarded the plane oh be safe babe Paul is in New York for work and so he's on his way home I hate when he leaves. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Sherry, what else do they put on burgers? Duh. They gotta come off too. Baby, this. I'm just mess this whole meal up, okay? I'm sorry. I do not. I can't. I've always been a meat and cheese with some ketchup and put my pickles on the side type of girl. Okay. So we're gonna put it like this. This ain't enough to do nothing. This ain't gonna get me full. Okay, I need some more water. Hold on. Oh, I got water in here. Let me get a napkin and then we'll go outside. Let me get a napkin. So that juice that I had this morning, hers is something crazy. Like an earthquake. And I know it wasn't. Okay, so we got a napkin, grab my phone, got my water. Oh, that juice that I had this morning, it tastes like Hawaiian punch, fruit punch. And so I looked up on the website, it had orange, pomegranate, and hibiscus. I'm remaking that, that was really good. And then I also had the, um, 
chia and fruit pudding thing and that had that had um what they have in there it had chia seeds coconut water spirulina cinnamon and mint it was okay if i was to on a scale of one to ten i would probably give it a four um i ate it so it was edible but it's not something that like i would make on my own you know if that makes sense Oh, did you see Pody's uh, tail? I dyed it orange for Halloween. This is not for you. You had your own food. All right, let's give her a try. You know you gotta examine it first. Mm. One thing I can say is the food being in the bags does not look appetizing, but the flavor, the recipe so far, besides the chia pudding, it was just okay. But this little spin off on a, a mac and cheese pretty good. I would definitely remake this on my own, minus the onion and tomatoes, but you know, that's just me personally. I don't like onions and tomatoes, but I definitely will load it with pickles, more lettuce, that's about it. I can't believe my ass is over here eating raw food. That's supposed to be a burger. Boy, how things have changed for me. Good morning, baby. It's been a couple of days. What is it? It's Friday today. Um, I am just tidying up the kitchen. Well. Hold on, let me pause this. I'm listening to Bob Proctor. You know who Bob Proctor is, right? He teaches on um, law of attraction and stuff. Usually I try to listen to him or somebody like that every morning when I take Ocean on the walk. And we just got back from our walk. And um, today, me and my daughter are having a mother and daughter day. We're going to this place called Candle Chemistry basically a place where you can make like your own candle from the scent to the wax and then you can even pick your own jar so we'll do that and then I think we'll go and have brunch or lunch I'm not sure where is the oh right here in my favorite picture so yeah just a you know cool little outing and then um I don't know what else probably nothing so update on that Revolution food box. So my final impression is most of the food was pretty tasty. There were three things that I didn't eat and it wasn't because it wasn't, it just wasn't from my palate, I guess is what I would say. So there was like this pizza thing, but it had way too many onions on there and I'm just not an onion girl. So somebody who enjoys the flavor of onions probably would really like that, but I didn't. Um, and then there was the mushroom ragu, ragu. Um, it had a lot of onions in it. So it was like mushrooms, green onions, and dang, I can't remember, but I was like, mm. I didn't like that. And last, there was a sunflower seed seed salad. Yeah, all the messes. And that one, it was just too mushy for me. It was almost like a soup. Um, and it just had crunchy pieces in there from like the celery made it really crunchy. And the texture of it just was throwing me off. So those were out of the 12 things three of them i did not like 
Um, I think it's a cool option if you need recipe inspo and you just don't know where to start with raw vegan. The guy's name is Adam, Adam something. I can't remember the last name, but he actually, I think I said this already, he had a restaurant in California and then they started the food subscription box and he also wrote two books. So I got one of his books because some of the recipes, like I said, I did like and I like the combinations of flavors that he did use. So I was like, oh, let me get his um, cookbook because that pasta Alfredo, the one with the zoodles in my TikTok video, that was so good and the little meatballs protein balls nut balls i don't know what he calls those those were phenomenal so i do want to try some of his recipes will i get the box again like on a consistent basis probably not just because you can't pick and choose the recipes like you get the menu and that's what you get and for someone like me that is still like a finicky eater when it comes to this raw vegan lifestyle that does not work for me financially because I need to pick what I want to eat, you know? So I may get it again. I just watch out the, uh, watch out the, watch out for the recipe. I mean, not for the recipe, a little, I'll just watch out for the menu to see what's coming up on the menu. And if, you know, it all sounds good, I'll get it again. But I don't think it's something that I'll be consistent with. But nonetheless, it was fun to try, so. Let me ask you a question. Do you yeah. think this is too much? I got a little stud in right now. Let's see. Oh, my battery about to die. Is this too much? What do you think? Got my little silver piece on with my silver earring. <laughs> we gonna make us a smoothie and it's gonna be so basic, okay? So basic, so. You don't even need to get your notepad and pen out for this, baby. Bananas. Oh, what is this? A tropical blend? No, it's not really tropical. Kind of peach, mango, strawberries, and pineapple. And coconut water. Do I have any? Oh, I got one left. And the star of the show. Where's she at? Some moringa powder. So I'm gonna put all three of these bananas in because I want it nice and fulfilling. And this is my first meal of the day. I did have some coconut water when I first woke up. I'm doing this all backwards. Here we go. You know, I really don't measure anything. I just, I've been doing this so long. I kind of be knowing my measurements for a 32 ounce. Sometimes I go over, but that's not a bad thing. I want to recycle that. Okay. Let me get a spoon. I just use my little cappuccino spoon. Well, Ari uses this for her cappuccino. And I want two teaspoons, right? Right. They call this like the powerhouse herb. It's actually leaves from the Moringa tree, but it has so many vitamins and minerals in it. I forgot how many, but it's enough to make me want to use it. Okay, and then we gonna blend it up. Now, 
the moringa can be a little overpowering but i've gotten used to it so it definitely is going to change the taste in your smoothie if you try this but as many herbs and things that i drink and i take like i'm so used to like bitter and earthy and weird taste Still good to me but yeah i'm so used to all of that they don't even bother me no more i won't say that it tastes good but i'm just i'm used to it so looks like i got a little bit left drink it, drink it down to the middle i totally should have came out here before i put my day clothes on but that's all right um if you've been watching me for a while or even following me on tiktok you know i have non-negotiables that i do in the morning and so i always like to read for like at least 15 to 20 minutes or however long you know i'm into the book but i at least try to hit 15 minutes and i try to meditate as well let me take try out of my vocabulary i meditate and i read my book um you have to pay attention to the words that you use because words definitely have power but in the last few months i've kind of fallen off on meditation just because sometimes it's just so hard to quiet the mind um, if anybody has tried to meditate or in the beginning stages of meditation you understand what i'm trying to say like all the thoughts that come in your head and all the to do's you know your mind tries to remind you of and it just makes you want to get up and go do what you need to do but anyways this week i have been more consistent with meditating um and getting into a flow state and it's been really nice so i just been coming out here plopping my little behind on this little cushion that i'm sitting on Trying to see what Osha's barking at. Maybe it's the neighbor, I'm not sure. And it's such a beautiful morning. It's got to be like in the 70s. But before I get started, with my little routine. So I wanted to share with you. I think it's the next driver. But anyway, I wanted to share with you um, some interesting events that happened to me about two weeks ago. Um, and that's kind of why I've been absent off of YouTube. I've just been trying to figure out next steps of what i want to do with my life so long story short and not getting all up in my business um something happened with me was it last week or either the week before um in my work life that really made me realize that we be devoting all our time to these jobs to build up a company to build up somebody else's family and I am blessed beyond and I'm grateful for my position but sometimes I just wonder like I could be doing so much more but there's always these limiting beliefs that hold me back um, and you know <clears throat> a job is just it seems like it's more stable and it's more secure but honestly when this event happened for me I didn't feel secure and stable and I felt like I need to start putting my well-being in the forefront and as a priority. And I really need to figure out what does Asheria want for Asheria in her life and her family. And what will my legacy look like? Because right now it's just working for somebody else. And when this event happened for me, like, I was so upset. I was so frustrated. Like... <sighs> I wish I could go in more detail about it, but it just was like a, for me, 
from the organization I work for, it was more like a, well, F you type of thing. And I'm just like, all the effort that I put in and I go over and beyond and I'm always trying to help out and I'm always trying to, I don't know, exceed, you know? And then I felt like I was met with gaslighting and that my concerns were not valid or minute, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And just thinking about it right now, it just kind of upsets me and makes me want to cry. And I don't even know why I would let a job make me feel that way. Cause it's just a job, you know what I mean? But I think it's deeper than that. I think it is more I know there is. <laughs> a calling on my life that I'm supposed to do more. But I'm scared. I'm scared of failure. I'm scared of it not going right or that I am not equipped enough to carry out what I know that I need to carry out. <laughs> I am probably not going to post this because I do not be want to cry on the internet. What the hell? In that moment, it reminded me that I need to take more steps to better me and the calling that's on my life that I know that I'm supposed to do, right? And I was saying this on Instagram the other day and I was talking about it kind of when all the, the shit hit the fan and I was like, you know, God, the universe, whoever you call to, you got to believe that there is a divine, a divine something here. Because like, how the hell did we get here and just the earth creation and all this stuff? Like, you got to believe there's something bigger than us, right? Um, I feel like God will give you signals and messages and other people images in your mind you'll see things you could be scrolling on social media and something will tap in you know to your subconscious like you know reminding you signs i guess is what i'm trying to say um of that dream that you have and that you want so bad but you don't know how to do it god will keep giving you signs and he will give you loud signs right if you don't listen and he will start making you uncomfortable until you do what you need to do and i oh i thought i wasn't recording i'm like oh my god <laughs> but and i felt like in that moment like because i keep i keep hearing the voice and the whisper of this is what you're supposed to be doing, but I keep ignoring it. And I feel like in that moment with my job situation, that was like, job that that was God making me really uncomfortable. Like, okay, if you're not gonna listen, I'm about to shake some shit up, okay, to get you to pay attention. And in that moment, I was like, God, I hear you. Like, I don't need, I don't need no more confirmation. I don't need no more shaking up. Like, I don't need it to the point where you break me down all the way to the ground and I'm homeless or something. Like, I got it. I get it. And so that is what made me enroll into naturopathy school. I don't believe getting sick doesn't have a bigger meaning. I can't find the words of what I'm trying to say to make that sound better. But I feel like it was a way for me to do it was a way for me to discover that there is more to western medicine doctors prescribing you stuff it was 
a woke moment for me to go within and say to myself, this, this just doesn't feel right with my soul to be on medication for the rest of my life and to deal with the illness for the rest of my life. And it's never going to go away. I just could not accept that fact, you know, and a lot of people in this world, I feel like we just accept it and whatever it is, it don't even have to be an illness. And we just carry that baggage with us. I refused. I didn't want to. I was not going to do it. So I had to look within inside myself and ask myself questions, you know, like, does this sound right? Is this what you want to do? You want to be on medicine for the rest of your life? And it was a no for me. And so I started doing my own research and I started seeking the answers. And little by little, more and more information started coming to me about healing yourself without using medication. Because honestly, medication, most medications don't heal you, especially if you have a chronic illness, they just suppress. They're like a band-aid, right? They make you feel better, but guess what? You got to take it again and again and again, or those symptoms come back. So we're not getting to the root cause and we're not healing the issue. We are just suppressing the issue. And so by me going through everything that I went through with my illness and learning everything I did, I feel like now God is telling me, now you have to be the light and you have to share with people of what you learned. And I am doing that, but I feel like I'm being called to do it on a bigger scale and I'm being called to do that solely. So that's why I enrolled in school. And let me tell you, I was so scared to put my credit card information in. <laughs> but it's like a Sharia. Like, if you think about it, you spend that same money on bullshit, okay? So, yeah, it's a big lump sum right now. But if you calculate all the stuff that you just willy-nilly buy, you know what I mean? Like, you could have been them paid for school, right? So I was like, okay. So anyways, I'm in that thing. And as soon as I started the first course, I was like, oh my God, why did it take me so long to do this? Like, I was just... engulfed is that the word i don't want to use i don't know i just was like so interested in everything that um the instructor dr robert morris was saying like i could not turn it off i kept going from lesson to lesson to lesson and then i ordered books that went with what he was talking about and i got my highlighter out and then i'm sharing stuff in my facebook group of what i'm learning and it's all the things that my doctor never taught me you know when you go in for an illness they just prescribe you medication they really don't give you a great well at least not mine a great explanation of why this is occurring and what you can do to prevent it you know and so it's just been it's been a beautiful journey just in these short couple of weeks so anyways i just want to get that off of my heart onto that they need to do a specific thing there's a calling on their life and they keep feeling it in their soul something keeps nudging them but they keep ignoring it you get in those those signs and those nudges for a reason because that potentially could be your purpose or lead you to your purpose and don't ignore it because the signs will get louder and louder and they will make you so uncomfortable until you do what you need to do. So be that light because I'm going to be that light and I hope that I could be that light for you in whatever capacity that it is. But I am about to read my book and meditate. Oh, let me show you or tell you what book that I'm reading right now. If I can find it really quick, I feel like I've been talking so much. 
And I hope that everything I said makes sense because sometimes I beat myself up. This is another thing that stops me from doing what I want to do. I am being very vulnerable on this uh, here camera. I don't know how I feel about it. And knowing me, I'm going to go into the editing room, my office, and just delete this whole thing. Assure you don't delete this. Post this. But yeah, I get on to myself because I'd be like, you didn't say that right, or you messed up your word, or you stumbled, or you stuttered. Like, I be beating myself up, okay? Oh, what you got? <laughs> he is in the background with a whole branch in his mouth. Okay, I'm sorry. Focus, focus. I'm trying to show you the book that I'm reading. It's like a um, positive thinking manifestation book. I can't find it. Oh, okay, here it is, here it is. Um, it's an old book, The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. Can you see that? You probably can't see that. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, so what I like to do is I use this app called Scribed, but they changed it to Everin, E-V-E-R-A-N-D, I think doesn't matter um look up either one of those on your um your apple uh store or i'm sure android has some type of app that i mean some type of what is it google play that you can find scribed and so i go in there and then i get the book it's a paid subscription too i think it's like 12.99 but i find the book that i want and then if you hit there's like a some little options up to the right if you hit share copy the link and then type in scribed downloader and then put the link in there and then it will download the whole entire book and you can save it to like your phone or whatever but i take it one step further i can do a tutorial on this if you want to see it so it makes more sense but i go to the good notes app and um the app store and i pull the book so i upload the book into good notes and then that way like i can highlight it i can make notes because good notes is just like a note taking app where you can write and highlight and use color and stickers and all this fun and crazy stuff but i do that and so it helps me for me remember and retain the information more because I'm actually going in and highlighting and then tapping and writing little notes and then if you want to put like little stickers stars and stuff or whatever you can basically import anything you want into the app so people like you know how scrapbooking is like digital scrapbooking like you could definitely scrapbook your book or you remember how girls used to do like their bibles like they would like put all kind of like cute stickers and highlights and stuff on their Bibles. I, what was that called? Bible? I don't remember. They had a name for that. But anyways, you can do that on GoodNotes using GoodNotes app and Scribed app. And both of them um, are paid app or pay subscription apps. But GoodNotes, I think you can get like a free version or whatever. But anyways... I'm rambling. I need to do my things, the things that I need to do. So I'll see you in a little bit.
Mm-hmm. Hair. Okay, I like those. second destination we're about to get some vegan food hopefully Ari likes it I've been here once before and it was really good it's called the green new American vegetarian restaurant that's a long name but the locals call it green so we about to go in here and see what is hidden I gotta cover my camera up with this towel if my camera went dead now I'm recording on my phone but anyways come on girl this was the electric nectar is really good i need to know what they put in there okay tastes like um ice cone syrup ice snow cone, cone syrup. oh snow cone syrup it tastes, definitely tastes like a, like a, to me, a caramel flavor. What you think, no? It's like grape snow cone syrup. <laughs> it does not. Yeah, it does. Does. So they got, like, two other vegan spots. And I think this one's the Giving Tree. You see there's one right here. And then if I flip you this way, there are two right there. I think those are like coffee and pastry spots though. We might go in there because we already like ice cream and pastry. So we can see what's in there. Well, it's out. Uh, I got the strawberry lemonade. I got a cheeseburger with thyme fries. And I already got the nachos. <laughs> Let's see here. Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's yummy. Mm -hmm. That fry is good. Mmm. Good fries. Oh. Okay, let me try the burger. The burger. I got a double patty burger with their like Mac sauce and pickles. <laughs> no onions. Hey, they loud. This is really good, but it's got an interesting flavor here. Bite it. Mm hmm. Tastes like a burger, don't it? I mean, but it has like a, a sweet, maybe it's the sauce. Mm, the sauce is sweet. It's really good. That's fire. I'm not even gonna lie. They did that right. And for you to be eating the nachos like you are, that's not be good. Cause you pick me. Let me show you our view. Hey, buddy! Hey! You want to 
and smell it? You always gotta smell everything that come in the house. Like you the security guard checking for a bum. That's good, it's good. All right, I didn't even get to smell the final product once he got to mixing it up. I thought he was gonna let us mix it up. Oh, you can't even see me. Hey, 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 how you doing? I thought he was gonna let us mix it up. The only thing we got to mix up is our scents. But anyways, isn't this a cute little package? I wanna keep the little uh bag. Okay. So the scents that I mixed together, basically what you do is you go in and you smell a whole bunch of candles as you've seen and you find the scents that you like and you write all your favorite fragrances down then from there the mixologists candleologists whatever they're called they will tell you which ones pair good together and then you pick which ones you like out of their suggestions and then they give you the oils you mix them together um depending on how strong you want them to smell so maybe you have like i had volcano island um aju pear and bergamot so maybe you want you know four drops of pear and four drops of volcano island and then one drop of bergamot and so you mix it like that to, you know, kind of make your scent, if that makes sense. So that, if that makes sense. So that's what I did. And that's what Ari did. Ari got more of a, she likes um, food scents like pumpkin and vanilla and cookie. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you could smell that, but it's thick and decadent. Let me just put some on right now. Oh yes, and I love their ingredients. They mix uh, their shea butters themselves. So like, oh that feels good. They have in this coconut oil, sapphire, sapphires, safflower oil, um, argon oil, shea butter, coconut butter, aloe vera extract, sea kelp extract chamomile extract and calendula extract vitamin e and vitamin c smell my i like yours i like how it smells like a pear oh you smell the pear mm -hmm. yeah i'll try to put more of the pear in because i wanted that to be like the pronounced scent much pronounced not mispronounced okay i see you yeah and then i named it you can name your candle i named it volcano al pear uh -huh. all right let me smell yours one more again one more again uh Crazy. We should make Christmas candles. That's so awesome. Like by ourselves. We can. I'm down for that. You Close named your seasons sugar marshmallow. I like that. I can smell the pumpkin and the marshmallow. What was your third scent? Um sugar cookie. Sugar cookie, yeah. Your um nose ring is turning your nose blue. I have to change that out. Please, for your nose break out and then you're going to be in somebody's emergency room. Not I. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Smell it. <laughs> I smell it. And that food was so good. I was shocked that even Ari was going to eat hers and she enjoyed the nachos. Mm -hmm. and that uh, vegan burger that I had. It's supposed to be like in the top 10 vegan burgers here in Phoenix or whatever. And they did not lie. That thing was so good. But that's gonna be my last little cooked meal for a while. Cause I'm about to go back raw vegan. I'm about to do a parasite cleanse and then clean up. We'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. Okay. I'm about to my booty. You smell that uh, body cream. About to. Dive in. Watch one of my courses. Um, so 
the courses are ran by Dr. Robert Morris. Um, you know, I talk a lot about him because he was like one of the number one individuals that helped me heal. I got his book, The Miracle Detox Source Book, and that one really just spelled it out and made me really like understand how food really interacts with our body. Um, he's great at explaining things. So anyways, he has um, naturopathic he has a naturopathic school and he provides courses level one um, for the beginners and level two if you've passed his level one class and level two is just you know um, further education and then he also has a segment that he teaches you how to open up a business uh, business and he has a host of other different courses on his website so that's what i've been doing these last few days and i've learned so much and i've even enrolled in anatomy and physiology class or whatever because he talks a lot about you know the different organs and body parts and like i've taken anatomy and physiology in, co in college but that was years ago so i need a refresher so i know what the heck I'm looking at and what I'm talking about because I'm definitely going to be educating about, you know, how to heal your body. But I want to make sure I am saying the right things and telling you accurately, telling you the truth. Oh, she want to go outside? It's total. It's whole. It's consciousness. It's energy. What words can you define the divine? Because as soon as you give it a name, you've limited it. The difference between creation and pure awareness is you can't limit it. Good morning. It's Sunday. There was a juice that was um, in the Revolutions food box. It was like fruit and flowers, yeah. And I looked it up on their website. It has oranges, hibiscus, and pomegranate. And so I'm about to try to recreate that because it legit tasted like fruit punch. So I got oranges. I got some brewed hibiscus tea. Now this ain't just straight hibiscus tea. This is like hibiscus and berry. And then, ouch, ouch. Cause I feel like juice and no pomegranate. That's like the weirdest fruit to try to do. So I got the palm. This thing was 12 bucks. Why is it pomegranate cherry? I thought palm just made pomegranate juice. So I guess they got a, a variation, pomegranate and cherry. Well, it's gonna have to work. Sorry, I'll just so this should be fairly simple. All we gotta do is cut our oranges and juice those. Everything else, we just gotta pour in, mix in, you know? Oh, are you about to clean up? <laughs> um, what you gonna do today? On my top. Not on your top. I must have didn't clean this cutting board good because it smells like onions when those juices hit. The cutting board. Okay, so I know you can't see my face, but just listen to, you know, the voices of Asheria. Remember yesterday I was talking about, um, I'm about to start going back raw, right? Ever since I joined my naturopathic course, I've been learning more about the body. And at first, you know, I'm just thinking illnesses have to do with the gut, you know, but I've learned so much more about your kidney and learning about kidney uh, filtration checking your urine in the morning your blood pressure your top number is your adrenal glands and your bottom number is the kidneys what else um, how the kidneys filter the lymphatic system so all these things right and i'll just like 
I need to get back to raw foods. It just inspired me to go on back. Although I do, but I like mix it with raw and cooked, you know? But there ain't nothing like eating raw. Like I feel my best. Like I have no issues, no gut issues. Skin be clear as I don't know what. It just feel good. Energy levels be through the roof. And I also feel like, you know how I've been talking about like just feeling that tug on your life to do greater. I feel like God, I'm like, this ain't what I told you, dude. And if I tell you to eat like just regular vegan food, I say it raw. You know, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. You can recycle that. Just drink in it. We'll pour the drink out. Boy, it'd be the laziness for me. There you go. Now you cooking with fire or grease. I don't like either. Huh? I don't like either of them. Cooking with grease? Cooking with oil. You don't think so? You're just, you're just talking at this point. I could listen to some old school music right now. But the energy to uh, hurt it all. Not like a lot. Did you smell the nami? Yeah, make sure that the dust is on here. Oh. <laughs> That's the <good>. hiccups. <laughs> Okay, let's make our juice. So I just put the ingredients in chat GPT and was like, can you help me make this juice for 32 ounces? And it gave me some instructions. Let's pray that is right. Did you ask him to give you a high five? Whatever. Okay. And do your hand like this, high five. You're not even trying. Well, you should have made him high five before you gave him the tree. Boy, you're not cooking with oil or grease. Okay, so a cup of orange juice, preferably juice from an orange. There is a difference. And then you need a cup of pomegranate juice. How do you say it? Pomegranate or pomegranate? And then it says two cups of your hibiscus tea. Is two cups going to fit in here now? No, no, we're just gonna pour until we get to the top. Cause I think Chad GPT was wrong on the measurements. No, they wouldn't. Well, yeah. no, it was not. Okay. Now let's mix it. It says add honey or sweetener to taste, but I don't think that you would need that. Um, with pomegranate juice, that's pretty sweet, you know. I got my little cocktail spoon from back in my days when I used to be a bartender. <laughs> I was never a bartender. All right, why are you not laughing at none of my jokes? It's on the next one. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Maybe because I didn't brush my teeth yet. 
Yeah. That ain't it. I think I need a little bit more of this palm. I mean, it don't taste bad. It just don't taste like they juice. I need to know they measurements. Because all I said was orange. Juice from orange, pomegranate, and hibiscus. Maybe that hibiscus was a little bit stronger, but hibiscus has more of like a sour taste to me. It's better with the extra pomegranate in it. Hmm. Just one more time, one more time. My bartending skills is not shining through this morning. That's better. You need more pomegranate. Um, so I would probably say two cups of pomegranate, a cup of orange juice, and a cup of the hibiscus. But it's not gross. It tastes good. It just don't taste like his. His was very like fruit punch. You know what I mean? So anyways, yeah, I just want to show you that little drinky drink before I get on out of here. Close up the video. You know, I appreciate you spending time with me this week. Um, a lot of changes happening over here for me, spiritually, emotionally, um, career-wise, and I don't know. I just don't even have the words right now for it, but hopefully I can encourage you if you are ever going through a season of change. That is calling you to do more that you are scared to do because it's there where you find your purpose and your true path. So anyways, I love you all, all 100 of you that watch me. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.